welcome fans of flip clocks what i'm looking at here is ebay and i spent a lot of time on ebay looking for clocks that i might want or just kind of researching because there's a lot of clocks on there and if you've done this like i have you'll you'll run into this clock here it says yoshitomo nara walk on flip clock uh, often it'll say pata pata or it'll say new pata and then you, sometimes you'll see in the title that it's a Twemco flip clock. And I've looked at these clocks and they there's a lot of them. In this day that I did this search here on eBay, there was close to 30 listed and there's, there's probably more. And they sell for high dollar. They go anywhere from 250 up to $320. Take a little closer look here at the clock and these drawings they look a little bit like Calvin and Hobbes, maybe. They're very stark. And sometimes they'll have English text on them as part of the element of the art. And sometimes the English text has obscenities. You see on the right there, that's that's the zero zero. That you would see that every hour. To look a little closer, what is this clock? It's a Twemco QT30, produced by Twemco, and distributed by a place called Lamfrom. So here's the Twemco site. And the QT30 is a decent clock. It's a modern clock. They are made in Hong Kong. They come in a lot of different colors. And obviously they paired up with the company called Lamfrom and Yoshitomo Nara to produce that clock. We'll look a little bit at the Lamfrom store here in a moment. Here it says we've got Yoshitomo Nara. Well, who is this guy? He's an artist that was born in 1959 in Hirosaki, Japan. And these days he's something of a franchise in Japan. His works can be found on t-shirts, keychains, fine art. He has many art shows around the world. He's well known internationally for these children they, that some art critics say depict Japan's latchkey children. They're cute but kind of sinister childlike characters and they're set against empty backgrounds or like I said with English text. You'll see elements with knives and plants and cardboard boxes. I don't pretend to understand the art, but it's that's where it is, and that's what's from this this lamp from. This is a store, a physical store in Japan, but it also is an online store, contemporary art and design. And you can see that uh, Yoshitomo Nara is featured prominently on this in this store. You can get the clock for twenty thousand yen, which is about one hundred eighty-seven dollars at the time of making of this video. Of course, it'll cost you some shipping. And for a clock that weighs about 0 0.9 kilograms, it'll come to just over $25. So instead of going to eBay, this is the cheapest I found it. You can get it for about just over $212 or straight from the Lamb From store. Lamb From, that actually means religious lamb in German. I don't get it. Well, we went to the other side of the world here. We're going to go to Taiwan. Taiwan's a small island nation just off China. Modern cities, traditional Chinese temples... It's got a nightlife in Taipei. It's known for its uh, imperial art at the National Palace Museum. Also has this wonderful lady, Minnie Force. She has a YouTube channel, and she's going to help us kind of look at this clock. Minnie Force, she does a lot of reviews on toys. She's a lover of toys, not just the Yoshitomo Nara stuff, but this is her showing some of the walk-on characters. I asked her in email communication, what is walk-on? She's not sure. She says uh, Yoshitomo Nara uses titles of songs in his exhibitions at times, but for her, time in, in her life is always walk on and keep going. She's, she's a very positive young lady. She says she likes his works because they're cute style and they remind her of a child's heart. She says that everyone has a child's, child inside, and that's why she's moved by Yoshitomo Nara's work. Mini Forest is going to do an unboxing for us, and she's pulled out one of the beige versions of the clock. It's a fairly good sized clock. It would uh, display well across the room, except you're not going to be able to see the time very well because it's covered over in this art. And on some of the tiles, you don't even have the numbers visible. 
It's an interesting piece. So what she's done, she's turned it around. She's opened up the access door in the back. You can see underneath where you would hang it, there's a, uh, and there's the battery compartment underneath that. We're not gonna take that, she's not gonna take that off. But inside of that dark hole there are two levers, one on the left, one on the right. Here on, the, on our left, she's gonna push down the lever and release it. And that's gonna advance the hours. You get a little bit of look at some of the art that's on there. I asked this young woman what pata pata means. She's not sure either. She thinks it means uh, the sound that the flip clock makes. And that makes about as much sense as anything. Now she moves her finger over just a little bit to our right. She can control the minutes. She's going to go through every one of these. So you get a better, a better view of some of this art that's on here. I said, I don't pretend to understand the attraction, but it's there internationally. These things are, these things are being sold at, at these high prices. I wouldn't mind having one in the shop just for curiosity, because it is a curious clock. I've never seen another one anytime, anywhere with this much artwork on the flip tiles. So it's very unique and just interesting, quirky. Well, I really appreciate Mini Forest. Please take the time, go in the description, you can find the link to this actual video where I extracted this from with her permission. If you wouldn't mind, go there and give her a thumbs up, and I've put the link to her channel as well. Wonderful lady, obviously very smart young lady, she can communicate well in English, and we really appreciate her. Well, thanks for taking the time. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.